Honorable Nana Amwako. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to contribute to the motion able move by Benusa and Oforiata. Mr. Speaker, my other colleague, you know, forget we are not doing estimates. But he has able to bring it all in. And let me remind him the 5,000 houses he's talking about. The loan was contracted in 2014 for 5,000 houses. But within two months, they have paid $46 million for the construction of this. After two months of this, they renegotiate the contract and reduce the amount to 1,500. The number of houses. Late meanwhile, they have been paid 99.11% of the total cost. Now the contractor is telling us he can only deliver 1,020. That is the gross of the 5,000 he's talking about. The source is right here. This is what If you want, our documents are here. I will table the audio as well as down. You see? You are clear. The source, don't worry about the source. You clear the door just to do that. You are worried. It's a business record. It's here. And if the, and the contract is amended, I hear. And if the table what, I could table it once I'm done with my resolution. So if you are talking about us not delivering on the housing, all this amount that you said you are going to deliver 5,000, only 1,024 out of $99 million that supposed to be paid. You are paid the contractor, but it's only building 1,024 for this. What does he say about the country we are living in and the government that just passed left? There's a great loot and share. And then they will come and tell us the municipal locations are very small. But you forget to also note the ministry has been divided. We have the water and sanitation aspect of it, and they also have the works and the housing. So if you add them up, the figure definitely will increase. So, Mr. Speaker, we all know that we are here to deliver service when it comes to water. And water is life. And uh, as we are aware, Mr. Speaker, under the urban water, the ministry continue to expand on the project in the greater area, greater Accra, Kumasi, Cape Coast, and uh, we also want to complete the, the water in Cape Coast water and um, SHG. The furthermore, the government also plans on achieving SDG 6 on clean water and sanitation. Mr. Speaker, under the rural water, the ministry brought closure to the phase one of the sustainable rural water and sanitation secured funding for the phase two of the project which honorable members recall two weeks ago, we approved an ADA loan facility of 45.7, an additional financing to complete the phase two. And on this loan, the content of it was provide affordable water and also community water. But they want the entire like this project was just for sanitation purpose, which is not, it's for both water and sanitation. Mr. Speaker, under the phase one, the ministry was able to provide about 755 people with safe water, exceeding the projected 600,000. And the phase two, on, on the phase two, the honorable members are supposed you know, to do 428 institutional toilets, plus some 50 small town water scheme in over 300 boreholes. So if you look at this, Ghana is what? Working again. 
But they were talking about we have to plant a seed. The seed has been planted, germinated, and grown. So now, once you have grown from your father's area, you have to work. So that's where we are moving towards. So Ghana is working again. It's perfect fit into this motion. So, Mr. Speaker, I was delighted that MPP administration is very conscious also fighting the Galamse. And uh, with this, we are able also to reduce the pollution level in our river bodies. And then you could see the water is getting cleaner as we go. Mr. Speaker, under the leadership of His Excellency, Nana Adodan Kweku Fuadu, the Minister of Sanitation and uh, Water Resources has been mandated to pursue persistent and dedicated effort through comprehensive sanitation strategy and uh, sanitation campaign across the country. It has been estimated that about 4,500 jobs will be created. So this is Ghana working again. So when you say we are going to create jobs, definitely we are going to create jobs for everybody to have, including them. Mr. Speaker, on the initiative also involved the institution of the National Sanitation Brigades to enforce sanitation laws nationwide. Mr. Speaker, I believe this initiative would go a long way to reduce the level of uncleanliness we have experienced throughout Ghana. Mr. Speaker, this sanitation problem should be taken very seriously because it's something that we have started from previous governments and it ends up with somewhere nothing to show for. So with the present government under able to of the comfort food further, we are going to institute some programs that will make sure the maintenance of this problem has been solved. Because we are here to make Ghana one of the cleanest cities in Africa. And if comparably in the world, because filth could bring a lot of diseases, diarrhea, cholera, and etc. So if we're able to keep our environment clean, all these things will ease, and government will have a clean environment for us to be able to enjoy ourselves. And then we save a lot of men on that essence. Mr. Speaker, when we talk about the housing deficit, previous governments on the I think we started implementing some projects in Oa, Tambole, Kofodia, Kumasi, and Abatiana, and Pong. All these things were started on the previous MPP administration. But up to now, MPP's second phase has come back to complete these projects. And you know what overruns that will be. Because of negligence or left it there to rot. Because it's not their policy. So when you have people are talking about they have started something, they have done that, if they want a good policy about people caring about Ghanaians, then they should the MPP government, they should be pleasing. The government has done very well and we tend to do more. Because from what we have seen so far, when you have an economy that is very, very not strong and stable, to do anything costs money. And because these things are not done, especially when it comes down to our subsidized accommodations, the overruns get so high, so when it comes to a point when you allocate it to individuals, they can't afford to buy. It's no more than affordable. And it makes no sense for us to put up a building where we cannot occupy it because we are trying to build this housing for you know, low-income people and up to now, they can't afford it. So what's the sense of going into this? So I plead with each government that comes to power, they should continue with where the other the government left off. So that way, the overruns will come down and be able to deliver for good people of Ghana. With these few words, I thank you, Mr. Speaker.
Yes, any second. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to present second motion and also present your committee report. Um, but for want of time, I will request the Hansa Department to capture the report as read in its entirety. Why is I read the introduction, observation, and conclusion? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, in accordance with the Article 179 of the Constitution and Standing Order 144 of the Standing Orders of the House, the 2018 annual estimates of the Ministry of Works and Housing was referred to the Committee of Works and Housing. This followed the presentation of the budget statement and the economic policy of the government for the financial year ending 31st December 2018 by Honorable Minister for Finance, Ken Oforiata, on Wednesday, 15th November. Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Minister for Works and Housing, Mr. Samuel Atachian, or Honorable Samuel Atachian, and his deputies, Honorable Frida Brempe and Honorable Eugene Boache, and the technical team from the Ministry of Works and Housing and Finance Assistant that constitute during the the operations. The Speaker, the committee is grateful to the Honorable Minister, the Department uh, Ministers, and the technical team for the assistance. Mr. Speaker, the reference that we used to following the several on the reference documents during the committee's deliberations, the 1992 Constitution of Ghana, the Standard Orders of the Parliament of Ghana, and the budget statement and economic policy of the Government of Ghana for the year 2017 financial year. Mr. Speaker, the committee noted that no release and delay of releasing approved funds continue to be a major challenge during the year under review. The committee noted that a partial sum of 13,420,000 out of the total budgetary allocation of 100 Eight million eight hundred and eighty seven thousand, who represent about twelve point three per cent, has so far been released as of the effects of October 19, uh, 2017. As a result of this, the ministry was unable to carry out most of its planned programs. Mr. Speaker, the committee knows that the non release of budgetary allocations has been an annual ritual and needs to urgently be resolved to enable the Ministry of Works and Housing to fully deliver on its mandate. This is because the committee therefore reiterates its call to the Ministry of Finance to ensure that budgetary allocation to, for the year shall be fully released on time to ensure timely implementations of planned programs. And the committee also admonish the Ministry of Works and Housing to also ensure timely application for allocated funds to enable the Ministry of Finance release funds timely. Mr. Speaker, another challenge that negatively affected the uh, efficient performance of the Ministry has generally been the inadequate budgetary allocation to the Ministry over the years. The committee observed that there has been a continuous reduction in budget allocation to the ministry from years now. It's obvious that the most of the ministry's programs and the activities are capital intensive. And for the public programs and activities such as coastal protection works to prevent flooding and erosion problems, prevent and protect life and property. Mr. Speaker, improvement works to solve uh, the perennial flooding and erosion and the problem, the provision of affordable housing requires huge capital outlays, which cannot be adequately financed by the administrative and annual budget allocations alone. For instance, for the 20 fiscal year, the ministry has been allocated a total sum of 91,481,044, whilst actual requirement for effective implementation of its programs is estimated to be about 225 million. Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, the committee noted 
that through the ministry was able to honor part of the uh, indebtedness to contractors to the tune of 136 million 663,305 cities. It still has 1 billion 174 million 220,650 cities, 59 pesos, outstanding as at 31st October 2017. This means the ministry's 28, 2018 total allocation of 91,481.04, which is about 7.8% of its outstanding indebtedness, will not be able to settle this huge indebtedness. Even though, if no program or activities of the ministry is to be executed, further, this huge indebtedness has the challenge, danger of financially clipping the contractors involved. The committee reiterates its appeal to the Ministry of Finance to allocate additional sources to enable the ministry to settle the huge indebtedness. Mr. Speaker, the committee also uh, the committee was also informed that currently there are a lot of local and foreign investments interested in undertaking affordable housing projects across the country. The concern, however, has been the uncertainty on the return of their investment since the current interest rate on mortgage financing, which is about 28%, remains unattractive to most middle-class earners. The Honorable Minister for Works and Housing, however, informed the committee that the Ministry of Finance had proposed, among other initiatives, partner with banks, pension trustees, security market players, to start the process of developing and depending the local mortgage and housing finance market to offer affordable housing mortgage at a subsidized interest to solve the problem. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, the committee, after carefully examining the 2018 annual estimate of ministry and having regards to the strategic role of the ministry in the development drive of the country and also the correction made on pages 11 and 12 of this report recommends that the House up to approve the sum of 99 million 489,045 Ghana cities for the implementation of the Ministry of Works and Housing Programs and Activities for 2018 year. In addition, the committee reiterates its appeal to the Ministry of Finance to come with aid of the Ministry of Works and Housing by providing additional resources for the settlement of the huge outstanding financial commitment to the contractors. The special move. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Chairman of the committee. <laughs> I rise to present um, second the motion being able moved by Honorable Minister. Um, the Speaker, because of time, I request the Hansa Department to capture the report as read its entirety. And also, I read the introduction, observation, and conclusion. Mr. Speaker, the 2018 annual budget estimates of the Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resources was referred to the Committee on Works and Housing for Construction and report in accordance with Article 179 of 92 Constitution, Standard Order 1404 and 180. This, for, this followed the presentation of the budget and the current policy statement of the government by Honorable Minister of Finance, Mr. Kenno Furata, for the financial ending on 31st December 2018 on Wednesday, 15 November 2017. Mr. Speaker, the committee met with the Honorable Minister of Sanitation and Water, Mr. Honorable Joseph Kufi Ada, his deputy, Honorable Patrick Boama, and thank her team for the ministry to discuss the estimates officially from the budget unit of the Ministry of Finance, and also attend upon the committee and assist the meeting with further clarification of some of the items and figures in the estimates. The committee is grateful to the Honorable Minister and Honorable Deputy Minister and the officials of the for the assistance. Mr. Speaker, the reference point that served as a reference document during the committee deliberations were the 1992 Constitution of Ghana and the standing orders of the Parliament of Ghana. 
Mr. Speaker, the committee noted that aside employees' compensation and donor contribution, that respectively has 75 and 95.27 disbursement rates. The ministry suffered from the inadequate and untimely release of the budgetary allocations. Mr. Speaker, another issue that was of great concern for the committee in the high percentage rate of 95.27 of the dispensing for donor fund component of the allocation. Though the committee appreciates the high rate of disbursement, it holds the view that financing an important sector like water and sanitation should be locally or nationally driven. The committee re realized that any negative global challenges such as donor fatigue or financial crisis will have an adverse effect on the performance of the sector. Mr. Speaker, the committee recommends to the government to give priority to this important sector by increasing the GOG allocation and also ensure the full and timely release of budgetary allocation. Mr. Speaker, the committee also noted that though the ministry is new and still in the process of developing and formalizing its structures, it chopped a number of success worth mentioning. Notably, among them are the successful launching of the national sanitation campaign, the evacuation of the unauthorized dumping site in the Gamma area, development of sanitation communications strategy to spearhead the national sanitation campaign, as well as the development of the draft policy for the establishment of the national sanitation authority. So, Speaker, the committee believes that the above initiative to together with others such as sanitation brigade, when fully operationalized, have the potential of improving increasing the national sanitation coverage. Mr. Speaker, the committee was informed that as a result of a national campaign against illegal mining and the cooperation and collaboration of the Interministerial Committee on, Ill on Illegal Mining, there, was a, there has been gradual improvement in water quality in the PRA, Tano, Brim, Ophin, and Ancobra River, which serve as a major source of water supply in the country. Mr. Speaker, the committee lost this development and hope that there will be continuous support, collaboration, and cooperation of all stakeholders in finding a license solution to the minutes. It is the conviction of the committee that continuous improvement of the water quality will help reduce the drain on the limited resources of the institution responsible for the production of the water supply and also increase the economic lifetime of the treatment honorable, plants honorable and prevent German. them from premature. Um, we, we have the report. So report, report. Okay. Just so, in the conclusion, come to the conclusion. We've raised some enough. So, in the conclusion, the committee, after careful examination of the budget estimate, and also having regards to the correction made on page 10 of this report, recommends the House to approve the sum of 183,577 Ghana cities to enable the Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resources to implement its program for the 2018 financial year. It's still submitted. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.